Hello, hello, beautiful souls out there, cyberspace. This is Ali Jade, and I'm here at Ascended Stars. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, I'm feeling really guilty about how late I am on these readings. Um, but, you know, I, a lot of progression, a lot of pro stuff has happened in my life, good things that... Um, you know, I'm just really blessed. I feel really blessed. So, um, you know, these readings had to be put aside. But let's see who's going to be uh, coming up. Let's see. <laughs> I wanted to get to you guys too, my loves, Scorpio. Because I had the mid-May and I was like, dang, I haven't finished. I ha it's, it's already past mid-May. And um, I like to kind of pick the cards. So it... I feel the energy of the collective of who's wants to come out. Um, I will soon be going to, uh, when I get it together, <laughs> um, like the popularity, like who, who, get, who I get the most hits. You know, I have a lot of huge Virgo followers and Aquarius followers. And I'm thinking maybe I should just make the channel for Virgos and Aquariuses. But I, I love my Scorpios and y'all don't watch that much. Or you don't comment that much help grow the channel help out help a girl out um but uh mid-may and so now we're past mid-may and here we are creeping into june and i do apologize but like i said things have been moving and grooving and um because of the lateness i'm going to add another oracle card to the reading for uh, the ones I'm catching up on right now. So all if you do cross-watching for your other signs, you know, your ascendant or your moon, don't be jealous. But, um, you know, okay. So let's see. I'm going to pick the, um, the soul card for you because my Scorpios are so soulful. We're going into like 17 degrees of uh, Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio. And it's getting, I don't know if you can feel it, but it's getting intense, like intense. Like those desires are creeping up like nobody's business. Kundalini and um, vices for me. And um, <laughs> yeah, I think y'all know what I mean. Um, so let's pick up the, let's pick the numer numerological number, number card for you too as well. Like I said, you're getting the extra soul card give us another layer of what's happening with my Scorpios I'm so happy I you know what I gotta tell you I really felt like doing Scorpio today I really felt you I was feeling you today my Scorpio co-worker um, said hey let's do this together and I was like yeah yeah because um, you know Uranus is in our when, when, when uh, Taurus Uranus moved into Taurus it went into the um, what is it the seventh house yeah of partnerships so connecting you know and Taurus is money and he had a money idea and this guy I love him he's he's so brilliant see I I have Scorpio but it's not my my son so um he's so brilliant I'm telling you people are impressed with the Scorpios right now you guys are holding it down holding it down okay these are the herbal deck cards which are amazing and I'm surprised that nobody's gotten, gotten them. They're just fantastic. It's because I, my earthy nature of um, loving naturalness was so gravitating towards this. So, um, okay, let's see what we have for you. So divine spirit, God, angels, ascended masters, um, please give me the best possible reading or messages for my Scorpios. This is a general reading. So just take what resonates and um, what doesn't resonate. Just move on down the road. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Look at that. Looky, looky. High Priestess right in the middle. Yeah. Yep. That's good. That's good. Right next to the Queen of Cups. Wow. And Queen, Queen, High Priestess. 
mature maternal energy. We have Venus in uh, Cancer now in the Gemini season. So this is fantastic. Um, you know, because Scorpios and then your own sign here, Scorpio is here, the death card. Um, Scorpios love deeply. And Venus in Cancer is really about, you know, that nurturing, caring, deep, sincere type of love. And so this is pretty good energy because we have, you know, this Venusian energy in a water sign of Cancer, our sister sign. Mother secrets, representing mother and secrets. Okay, so the cards need to be moved. Sorry. All right, so this is um, interesting energy, really interesting energy. And we're moving into June. And I'm doing this on the 23rd, probably not going to get posted till the 24th. So um, I feel like there's a huge balance. And there's, I think there's like a real balancing act. When I said um, all these, you know, all these intense feelings are here for me personally um i wasn't kidding because look at this i mean it really does these are major arcanas right so that's kind of um priority energies for the month um this is in our mental realm so things that you know transformations taking place here in our in our the way that we look at things that we we talk to ourselves talk to others perhaps the way that we um communicate even and then this is the high priestess dealing with cancer the moon um the feminine energy going inwards you know i feel like i'll talk to people and they'll give me a situation and I'll go, I know exactly what to say because I went through this. And they just don't listen. They just don't pay attention. They just keep on rambling. I'm like, did you even hear what I told you, look, woman? Um, and I just, and I'm doing this a lot. Like I'm staring at people going, really? And I'm not getting angry because I'm beyond that stage of getting angry or getting frustrated or getting, I just look at them and I say, okay, you know, God bless you and I move on. I said, you want to, you want to, you want to live in the oil and water? God bless you and move on. Because they want to be in the drama. So it's like, I feel like, so this is like the, the high priestess. She knows, she knows things, right? She knows um, deep truths. She follows her intuition. Um, she's really connected to spirit. This is, I love this energy. I mean, it's, you know, we're getting uh, a blast of feminine energy here. And on the outside, you know, it's like nobody don't, nobody messes with me. Like on the outside, I'll, I'll like, you know, give them a, a remark that will just, it'll just like, you know, the other way, sorry. It'll be like, you know, cut like a knife. Like, you know, that's like a little smirky remark that they go, oh, this girl don't play, you know, this girl, this girl kind of knows stuff like this girl, you can't really push her, you know, because it's like, I may be nice. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. Okay, so this is this is definitely the queen of swords. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. And she will give it to you. Right? She'll be like, I'll keep doing it the wrong way because of the camera. <laughs> She'll slice you. See, I'm trying to slice with the knife. Um, but it's really interesting energy. I'm going to have to puzzle some billets for us because we have the, um, the Eight of Cups. But we have it here with this wonderful beginning of making money. So we're, you know, the universe wants to give us a new start in our material realm with money. But here we have, we're walking away, walking away. I think we're walking away from the BS. <laughs> That's what I think. Because yeah, I feel like if you look at this, you look at the high priestess and you look at, you know, how they're set up. We're walking away from, uh, and oh God, look at this. It, it, it's a lineup of the eight of, wands as well so i mean you could almost make it a sentence and say walking away from love 
you know, but this isn't our, this, to me, this represents kind of like our, our unconscious stuff that's going on that we're, we're, or hidden realms, things that are not quite there that are going to, we're going to have to deal with in a in more <sighs> unconscious way. And so, um, maybe we have love around us. We see, we have love. Um, but it feels like the love is in the home, right? It feels like the love here is a happy home. You know, um, we're putting our energy really, we're not, we're like, like maybe we're walking away from the BS on the outside world, like things that are material, things that are superficial, things that are like uh, fluff that we're walking away and we want, we want more like the real stuff, the substantial stuff. I know that I'm cutting people off in a way with, in my conversations. I know it's rude, but they want to like give me all these explanations when I say just get to the meat and potatoes because that's like the detective that I am. I'm like, I don't need to hear the whole shebang and the whole, you know, story of your life when what you want is just, you know, give me directly what you want. Give me the meat and potatoes of what you want. Don't just, don't give me, the, you know, I don't have the patience really, to be honest with you. To be like holding people's hands and be like, oh, poor you. Oh, really? Uh-huh. No, I'm like, no, you, what is it you called for? What is it you want? What is this? Da, 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 da. You know, I'll tell you something and you're not listening to me. And then you continue talking about your drama. I'm walking away from the drama. So it could be like we, the Scorpios want something really like solid you know so we're we're cutting to the chase we're getting there the universe wants to give it to us we're not entertaining perhaps we're not entertaining people's falseness because she's not false this woman look at her she like she knows she's like sitting on her throne i know you don't lie to me i know you sorry for the glare or the blur but she's really like sitting there comfortable she's like uh-uh uh-huh you know, I, I can see right through you. And we have it right with the Scorpio card here. Very intuitive month. Okay. Very intuitive month. Um, connecting with loved ones, I feel like. Really knowing what's going on with our loved ones. Definitely, definitely this vibe. I'm getting strong now really being more available and um and connected to that to what is really love for us okay it's not it's not it's like healthy love it's not dysfunctional love at all and it's transformative love and it's like when you put this together it's like um and then we have i don't have enough hands and then we have this set up here too. If you can see it, the three of wands, the eight of wands, and the four of wands. We There's a lot of fire, okay? Mars. There's a lot of fire. Mars is an Aquarius. So we, we could be getting a lot of downloads. Like, you know, huge downloads on how to solidify our, our foundation, solidify our um home base you know what what's uh, creating a very strong structure okay and what was i going to say we're really we're really supported by the universe right now um this type of love is for others that we love deeply in our lives that are family members or tribe members or who have held us down through the hardship um we are available to them it feels like we are there for them we're not playing around anymore we're not um you know escaping we're not even escaping you know Pisces Pisces is looking at the high priestess trusting this intuition trusting everything that that they've been through you know through it all through the thick and thin it survival survival this is also fear but it's like but the scorpios are fearless a lot of scorpios are fearless 
because we've had to die so many times. So, you know, fear don't mean nothing. You look at fear in the face and you go, what is it? Sit down. What do you, you let's have a conversation. You don't you don't run away from fear. And fire 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 in the unconscious realm, it's like you ain't got nothing on the brain but like getting things together of like your life. You're like I see what I want and I'm going for it. I am going going for it. And you could be getting brilliant ideas on how to manifest a stronger home. A better place for you to call home, you know, improvement on your home because there's no fun anymore with with uh, others that they don't get it, you know, so you're like talking truths to them. You're talking truths now and people maybe you know you realize people don't like the truth i gotta stay home because people don't like the truth they ain't inviting me anywhere they ain't saying hey come on over this is not social time for for scorpio it seems like not at all let's see what's the astrological influence the sixth house yeah this is your day-to-day -day activities and work okay definitely working uh, maybe getting back on track to a nice um, physical routine with Taurus, the physicalness, the sensualness, um, having enough energy to do so with all this fire energy. The work, health, and duty area of your life. Yeah, duty calls. Duty calls. And duty is, is your due diligence for you, for Scorpio, for the home, for the people that are under the Scorpionic uh reference and that's your true tribe that's your family those are your true friends yeah it, it's tight it's like all like shh, like tight and look look at this your 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 lips are sealed <laughs> your lips are sealed <laughs> your lips are sealed yeah oh my god it's so gorgeous um yeah i love it okay so let's see denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness what was i talking about fear scorpios are fearless that fear that used to scare the living daylights and make us tremble tremble in the corner it don't exist anymore now we're like okay I'm aware of you. I'm aware of you. I see your. I see the shadow. I see the shadow. I see it. I see. You know. I see the fear coming away a mile away. You can smell fear on people. It's crazy how fear works once you conquer it. You know. And a lot of people are living in fear. So you see, a lot of people are living in fear with this energy. What What's going to happen? What are we going to do? How are we going to? Well, we had we had our day in hell. We, you know, with uh, Saturn going through Scorpio. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, we did. And we're fearless now. And now, all because of that time, we've healed. Orange, we've healed. And we're not living in denial. I mean, this reading may not be for everybody. Maybe this is going to be transformational for you. Because, like I said, this is fear. You know, um, for me, my father dying was a huge wake up call, like, like tick tock, like 3D time, like, oh, you know, mortality, mortality. And I think that um, for many, many Scorpios, the mortality is, is, is a big element in our incarnation. Um, so that makes you really you know appreciate those unconditionally that you truly love and now you want to make a better a better situation you know you know you know how to go about it now there is a knowing to how what you want there is definitely a knowing to what you want and and spirit's going to help you get there by giving you more downloads, by giving you more illumination and insight on how to get there. And, you know, to really kind of, um, what's the, what's the uh, word I want to, to, uh, to really, it's, 
I don't, it's not strategically, but, um, what's the word spirit? Significantly. Okay. To really significantly, significantly walk away from what doesn't serve you. Okay. Those days are gone. What, where you would entertain things that entertain your fears when you would entertain your fears it would stop you from manifesting right so now you're you're you have the sixth house influence here you're working day to day and and you're seeing progress and you're liking that okay and your home is super important your heart your heart is this is sometimes to me represents the heart as well because your heart your home is where your heart is at i see it sometimes so this is um your heart everywhere you go you have this confidence and this love and it, it illuminates your path 11 11 maybe you're focused on that divine partner and you're like i'm gonna work hard on working hard on me work hard on working hard on me and I'm going to be the best me I can be. I'm not going to compete with others. I'm just going to be the best me. And I'm going to walk my truth. And I've been through a lot. So I have a lot of experience here on what I've seen. And I have a lot to say. And if people stop and ask, I'll say it. But I probably won't because I see that most, most won't understand it. It's deep because it's a lot of deep truths. A lot of deep truths. Pluto, the underworld. This also is like I'm saying, you know, Jupiter going into the higher degrees of Scorpio retrograde um, is your vices. This is the things that, because Neptune is about vices. It's about <laughs> getting lost in La La Land. Okay, so, but you're looking, but that, but this Piscean card is looking to me. She represents Pisces always, but to but, but um, she's looking at the High Priestess, and she's very aware of right from wrong. There's no fooling anymore. You you know, there's no there's no games to be played. So let's see what else we have for Scorpio. Nature, 74. Nature is calling to you big time because the sixth house is an earth sign. It's the virgin. Um, you know, it's, it's Mother Gaia. It's tending to your body, right? Because we have her exercising, day-to-day -day activity, detoxing, it represents the hermit in the tarot card, looking, illuminating deep truths and walking in wisdom. Um, maybe a little hypercritical, uh, self-critical and hypercritical, judgmental um, when you're out of balance. So nature neutralizes that energy. When you go out to nature, the ground neutralizes any of that um over criticism, you know, because Virgo is shoots for perfection because nothing is ever good enough. It's just not good enough. It's it's just not perfect. It's just not the way I thought it would be. It just didn't come out the way I thought it would. I, I really shot for it, but it, it's just not exactly how I imagined it. And I worked so hard for it, but we can, you know, we have to accept our imperfections so we can just work, work, work. Work could be also a place of escapism. A place of escapism for the uh, Scorpios. You know, work is where you feel comfortable. That's where you are uh, shine. Okay. Then you come home and there's lots of activity, lots of stuff going on, lots of mental uh, stuff maybe. So, um, so maybe working out is the best thing to also to calm yourself and ground yourself 74 is an 11 and here we help go with the 11 11 11 working towards that that soulmate that you really want that person that's really really your your 
your dream, you know. This is sex. Sex, the kundalini energy coming up again too. Lots of thoughts of sex. <sighs> the willow. Oh my God. I've been thinking about the willow so much. So this is the um, herbal healing deck. And I'm going to read uh, the willow for you because I, I don't know. This is such a huge, it's like a huge, um, it's a big, there's lots of meaning to it. But I have it right here. I thought I had it. Let's see. The willow. Ah, sorry, guys. It takes me forever to find it in this book. The oak. Fine. Sycamore. Where are you? Maybe it's the last one. The walnut. No, it's not the last one. I'm kidding. Uh, bear with me. Thought it was there, it wasn't there, somewhere else. Okay, it's coming. <laughs> I'm so upset. Ah. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. And I so want to read this right now because I read this to another sign. I can't remember who it was, but it was so interesting and I and I was like damn I feel a lot like that message was resonating with me and uh, I don't know if I can find you oh my god this is crazy Oh, all these weird names. That I, oh, there it is. Okay, finally. I think it is the last one. I'm sorry, guys. It was the last one. Okay. Interconnection. The willow is interconnection. Actually, I don't even think I read this one. What am I thinking of? God, deja vu. So the, um, the quote by Alan Watts is, I'll tell you what hermits realize. If you go off into a far, far forest and get very quiet, You'll come to understand that you're connected with everything. Wow, this is amazing. This is the hermit energy. What did I say? Nature and the hermit energy. The the in the tarot, the sixth house. I love it. So um, they, she gives you a lot of, you know, willow is what aspirin is made out of, um, white willow, but. Um, the willow is a border plant, often grow, often growing along ponds and streams. So that's the, that's the water nature of Scorpio. Isn't that interesting? It is a gateway between water, a symbol of the emotions and subconscious and earth. Wow. A symbol for the body. Willow reminds us of the connection between our feelings and our health. Physical pain is a signpost for where we need to focus our healing intention. Author Louise Hay, oh, I love that she quotes her, outlines how specific conditions of the body reflect our inner being. Well, hello, I am used to be studying acupuncture, and I know that every organ has an emotion. And um, when the cheese out of balance, the blood's not flowing, there's stagnation. There's so much uh, evidence, 2,000-year-old medicine, that our emotions have a lot to do with our health. So our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. When Bill Willow appears, take notice of physical pain and ask yourself how it may symbolize a deeper issue. Very true. Okay, so I'm working on this book on ailments. So arthritis is uh, typical of people who want to control. Okay, um, just an example of what, what's going on. Willow branches are very pliable and can be used for basket weaving. This also speaks to interconnection, to the interwoven nature of life. The energy fields of all living things are woven together in a vast web, connecting us in unseen ways. So that comment about arthritis, before I get more comments on, on my channel, if you've had injury, broken bones, you can also get arthritis in that, sec in that part of your body as well. Um, that's the exception, but most people, um, the arthritis is a manifestation of 
wanting to control, right? To control your environment or, or just to control others, maybe. Okay, um, so let's go on. Oh, she, he even mentions Alex Gray. Oh, I love it. Visionary artist Alex Gray depicts such energetic connections which can be felt through meditation or energy work. Psychic phenomenon also support the idea of interconnection. Lovers, parents, and children, twins, and others will, with powerful emotional bonds tend to possess a stronger telepathic connection. Yet, ultimately, we are all sparks of the same divine essence, and thus, we are all one. Okay, big time, big time. This is, I gotta point this out to you guys. This is a lot of psychic. You, 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 not only, this is all right here. Bingo, 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 bingo. Scorpio, very psychic, okay? The high priestess, super psychic. And the most psychic sign of them all, the 12th house, Pisces. So you're probably going to be able to read people's minds. Um, for me, I'm an empath. I don't necessarily read their minds. I just get feelings and icky feelings or, um, uh, or like strange nervousness around someone like with mental illness i get that a lot but um it, it, it comes in all shapes and forms it's a lot of psychic abilities and psychic downloads for you guys and this is confirmation so this is beautiful the more we realize our interconnectedness to, to all of life the more we understand our responsibility to keep our words actions and even our thoughts positive oh yes praise jesus Willow asks you to remember that thoughts are powerful things. Focusing on worries, fears, or negativity can pull these things into your life. I think this is especially true right now that we have the higher degree of Jupiter and Scorpio. Um, manifestation of our fears can be really huge um, just by thinking of it. And we should be, you know, over that. We should be over that and not only for scorpio but as a collective we've had a lot of spiritual downloads um illumination and outside entities and spirits and guys trying to uplift all of the universe all of earth okay the beauty about earth is that we reincarnate to come here to be better souls than we were before and um Earth is a great place for those that have been tremendously behind on their soul evolution and um, unevolved. Okay, this place is we're we're all in one lump together here: the evolved and the unevolved. So I just wanted to say that. But um, Willow asks you to remember that thoughts are powerful things. Focusing on worries, fears, or negativity can pull these things into your life. However, if you choose to make positive connections to the outside world with your thoughts and feelings, then improved health and life circumstances can be yours. And when I studied medicine and I would tell people, you know, about preventative medicine, nobody really wants usually people come to acupuncture right before they're going to die they've tried everything else they go to their western doctors and they've given their power away by trusting these doctors and let's not forget that medicine is a business the medical field is a business and western doctors believe that you should you know remove your gallbladder remove your kid you only need one kidney uh you know just it's, it's a matter of removing stuff and i don't want to poo poo you know western medicine because it's great for emergencies and uh traumatic events but um, in, in Chinese medicine, the wholeness of the body is to heal the problem at the root, not just to put a Band-Aid and give you a remedy and a pill so you forget about it. So when you tell a patient, you know, you have two cancer patients and you t one doctor says, oh, you're going to die in three months. And that patient says, no, I don't receive it. I'm not going to receive that. Screw you. I'm not going to die in three months. And they fight and they try to do everything to survive usually because they have such a strong will they will survive but those who go oh my god let me go say goodbye to everybody and let me uh you know i'm gonna die and, da, 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 and tell everybody you're gonna die and keep repeating that well guess what that's kind of like a manifestation so i truly believe the statement of what what's being said here so um willow a flower essence is used to help a person to take full responsibility for his or her life 
When we fail to see the interconnectedness of all things, we feel as if life just happens to us rather than acknowledging our part in shaping our circumstances. When we chronically feel victimized and blame others for our bad luck, quote unquote, these destructive emotions become congested in our bodies. Our physical self responds by manifesting stiff and sore joints, rheumatism, or pain. Inflamed emotions make for an inflamed and painful body, which are the very symptoms that willow bark treats. The bendable branches are the willow tree of the willow tree reminds us to stay flexible, especially with our beliefs. Oh yeah, that's been true. Very true. Love it. Yes. If you've been suffering, see if you can determine which underlying assumptions are at play. The next time you feel hurt by another, notice your thoughts. Do you automatically assume that the person doesn't like you or that you aren't good enough? Begin to entertain other possibilities, even if you don't believe them. Maybe that person has was having an especially bad day, for example. By allowing your mind to produce multiple options, you expand your understanding of reality and move beyond victimhood. You can also work on these issues from a physical direction. Take up yoga, practice is a great way to foster flexibility of the body and mind. Wow, that's brilliant. While most of us struggle with negative feelings at one time or another, drawing willow has yet another meaning. It can herald a new understanding of reality and opening to interconnection. When you learn to tap into the energy grid that connects us all, your perspective becomes limitless, dissolving personal boundaries and crystallizing the feeling of unity. Contemplate the relationships, associations, and interactions between all people and things in your life. This will broaden your perception, allowing for a greater understanding of how you fit into the complex web of existence. Almost 40 minutes into it, Scorpio. I love you so much. I hope this has helped you. Please comment, share because of the um, the way that YouTube is working. It really helps uh, grow my channel and um, I'm going to have a special that I just found as a download today that for my repeat clients, I'm only going to um, charge them $25.99. And then I'm going to start a Patreon channel as well. So I'm going to get folks on the Patreon channel. Um, once you get a reading, uh, once you once you refer someone for a reading, then you can get a reading for $25.99 as well. So um, that's my new special going on just because I got the download today to start doing that. So um, I'll, you know, hit me up uh, via my email, ascendedstars at gmail.com to learn more, connect and get your own personal reading. My dear Scorpios, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have a great month. It looks like a lot of fun. Have fun with the with your psychic abilities. It's not scary, okay? If you uh, connect with God and spirit, you'll you'll learn it's not scary at all. It's a true gift, and you are learning to um, harness it and assess it and use it wisely as well. All right, take care. Bye bye.